Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing Stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ruckus Discord Bluetooth Noise Reduction Earplug Earbuds by Elgin USA. And I'd like to thank Elgin for sending these out for me to test out on the channel. Just to let you guys know, I've already actually been testing these out for approximately seven months now. Uh, so I just put everything back in so you guys can kind of see what comes with the box. So we open it up here. We get a quick setup guide manual, which is very good and simple to follow. We get a soft case, kind of medium soft anyways, uh, that'll store everything inside of it. We actually get our Ruckus Discord wireless headset here. Then we get a charging cable. And it also comes with two clips that you can use to uh, wrangle down the wires. So let's go over some features about the Ruckus Discord headphones. They are OSHA compliant. They are ANSI certified at 25 dB noise reduction rating. They use Bluetooth 5.0, have up to 14 hours of use on a single charge. They have a noise canceling microphone, Kevlar strand reinforced cable, USP class five medical grade silicone earplug tips, custom tuned speaker drivers. They're weatherproof IP65 enclosure, seals out dust and sweat. Headphones that look and function like earplugs and include a storage case. You're supposed to be able to use these up to 50 feet from your Bluetooth device depending on any obstructions. Okay, so let's talk about pairing this to the Bluetooth on your device. You're going to go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on your device to on and have it actively scanning. You're going to then press and hold the center button on the Elgin Ruckus headphones which will turn them on and you're going to hold it for three seconds which will put it into pairing mode. And the light on the headphones will flash between blue and red. Then it should show up on your device list as Elgin Ruckus. And you'll go ahead and click on that on your device and that will pair it. And then you should hear this guy say power on connected. And from that point, they'll be ready to use. So let's talk about the controls really quickly. There's three buttons here. The top button, if you do a short press, will raise the volume. If you hold it, it'll actually skip to the next audio file. The center button, if you hold for three seconds, will turn the earbuds on or off. If you hold for two seconds, it will activate your device's voice assistant. If you do a short press, it will play or pause the music. If there is a phone call coming in and you press the play pause button, it will also answer or end the call. And finally, the middle button, if you press it twice, will redial the last call. The bottom button, if you press shortly, it will decrease the volume. If you press and hold it, it will skip back to the previous audio file. And then quickly, let's go over the LED indicators and what it means. So if you have a blue light, it means no device is connected. If you have it flashing between blue and red, it's in pairing mode. If you have a double blue light, it is the means device connected. If you have a flashing red light, it means less than 10% battery. If you have a solid red light, it means battery charging. And finally, if you have a solid blue light, it means the battery is charged. Okay, now that you have a general understanding of how to actually operate these guys, let me go ahead and show you how you will put them on and use them. So you're just gonna go ahead and put it over your neck You'll have an L and an R indicator dictating which side of the head each side should go on. You're going to go ahead and grab your upper ear and then press the earplug in place. And then you're going to do repeat the step on the other side. And there you go. So now these are in, you have them paired up and ready to use. At this point, it sounds like I'm wearing earplugs, which is essentially what these are. They're earplugs with the also added bonus of actually having earbud speakers inside and the fact that it's wireless makes it pretty convenient. So these are really great for using out in the shop. That's where I primarily use mine if I'm doing grinding, cutting, uh, using any of my heavy equipment and tools that's very loud. These are really nice because it allows you to listen to some music or even just use it as headphones or earplugs depending on your scenario. 
So let's get to the meat and potatoes. This is a review video. What do I think about these headphones? What are the pros and what are the cons? So let's go ahead and talk about the pros first. As earplugs, these work phenomenally. They, they work really great and I've not had any problems actually having something be too loud when I thought it should have been quieter if I was using any other type of earplug. So I've actually used these just in the earplug mode on occasion uh, if I am just doing a quick cut or something like that and I'm not wearing them full time while I'm out in the shop, sometimes I'll just throw these in and use them as earplugs. So they work really well in that capacity. The other thing that has really impressed me with these is the battery life. I actually had started using these and reviewing these quite some time ago. Like I said, I've had them about seven months now. Uh, and then life kind of got crazy and it put me on hold and I wasn't able to, to work with this stuff and do it for a while and months later when I pulled these back out and started using them and testing them to review them again, uh, the battery life was still really good and I used them for a full day in the shop uh, without charging them again and they didn't lose battery. And that is impressive to me because another pair of wireless earbuds that I have, uh, that's not the case. I mean, if you forget to charge those things, I mean, if you have been haven't used them in maybe, let's say, two weeks, uh, you're going to pull them out and they're going to be dead. You're going to have to charge them up for a couple hours before they're ready to use. So the fact that these actually maintain their battery life pretty good, that is a huge plus for me. Um, and sometimes I actually will even forget they're on my neck uh, if you're not wearing the earplug. Uh, they're, they're pretty comfortable and they don't really get in your way. Uh, so I've really enjoyed using them. I think for a shop scenario, especially a home shop, uh, this is ideal because it allows you to also wear safety glasses or face shield uh, and stuff like that. You're not having to, like earmuffs like this, which can get in your way and uh, just make it difficult to do whatever process it is you're doing. So that, and then they, they look pretty nice. They, with the yellow, they're pretty easy to spot. You know, those are my pretty big pros. I, I really enjoy them. Uh, the only con that I've thought you know, is kind of a con. For me, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I'd say on the audio quality, if I had to rate it up to 10, um, you know, 10 being like some really nice Bose headphones or something like that, uh, I'm, I'm at maybe like a seven or so. Like it's, it's good quality. Like, I mean, it sounds good, but it doesn't sound like, wow, this is really amazing good. Um, for me, that is not even a really a drawback personally. I don't mind, you know, I'm listening to the music in the shop as I'm doing something. So I'm not even really thinking about it. Uh, you know, if you're, I guess if you're a really audio file kind of super audio nerd and you love the, the most crystal clear, best audio in the world, you know, they're, they're not that, uh, but this is a $60 pair of headphones. So I think for $60, you get a very good value between the noise reduction and a good audio uh, that you can use. And I've also used it in phone call, uh, in a phone call mode. And uh, I've been pretty pleased with that too. I think the, the call went well and uh, the person on the other line didn't have any problem uh, hearing me, which was really nice. So uh, final thoughts. I think that these are uh, a pretty good set of earbud earplugs. Uh, and I absolutely would recommend them to anybody who's looking to get something like this. Um, the, the cost is pretty good, and so far I've had no problems with reliability or even random disconnecting or anything like that that I know Bluetooth uh, products can have an issue with. So I think that about wraps it up for this review. I am going to leave a link below if you guys want to go check these out on Amazon. Uh, it's an affiliate link, so if you do click on that and purchase anything, even if it's not the headphones, uh, then I can get a small kickback, which allows me to purchase better camera equipment and more gear and uh, just keep on going with the channel. So I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video if, uh, if you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll see if I can't answer them for you. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.